I have taught you tonight how kings reign. Every king you see who has taken his place of dominion and is manipulating the spiritual climates to reveal Jesus in his life has done it through the excellency of the speakings of the word of God. Now that you understand the power of words, let me speak over your life. You don't have to kneel or what. Let it just be that your heart is opened. Please believe. When Gabriel stood before Zechariah, he said, I am Gabriel that stands in the presence of God. That means the presence of God has purified me, purified every falsehood. You can trust what you hear. That's what he was saying. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stand as a prophetic rainmaker over someone's life. That drought in your life, in the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. For someone here, I prophesy to you, you will not see wind. You will not see rain even. But I declare by all means, may your valley be filled. May your valley be filled. Hear me. According to the law of time and chance, for some of you, certain things have gotten to your tongue, but demon spirits made it jump over you. I stand by the prophetic. I take it back to your tongue. I take a pakoske debekata. I take it back to your tongue. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. If there is any negative programming that came either by mistake or by ignorance you didn't know and you kept speaking things now that the devil is using for some of you based on what you have said you are not even more than two years left to live because you kept cutting your years with your words I stand by the power of the prophetic and in the name of Jesus I cancel every word speaking against you I cancel every word speaking against you for the Bible says no weapon formed against you will prosper and he said every tongue that arises please hear me no matter who has said what against you maybe growing up maybe his parents sincere people but what they have said is being used by the devil it has become a, a negative rain making process by the power of the prophetic I cancel it now where they said you will fall I prophesy stand where they said you will not rise I speak fly not only rise in the name of Jesus where they say you will not find helpers you will even have to choose who to help you where it has been programmed that you will lose your spiritual fire you will lose your relevance you will lose your bishopric you will lose your lampstand i prophesy 30 years from now if christ tarries you will still be standing final prophetic word anyone under the sound of my voice that this statement ichabod has been roaming around your head that means you are good for nothing that means the glory has departed that means everybody who sees you they should treat you like an outcast in the name of jesus i roll away that negative word i say it again 
for someone who has been trusting God for rain your plans have refused to grow prophetically because the rain has refused to come I stand tonight as a prophetic rainmaker and I say it again by the power of words because by these words the cloud is full of rain may your rain begin to fall those of you in ministry I announce to you this is your season of exploits no power in existence will downplay and demean the anointing upon your life those of you who are diplomats and captains of industry we clear the way for your relevance in the name of Jesus those of you who are businessmen here and it looks like there is an embargo on your business you have tried but it looks like you are not rising if you believe this prophetic word I declare that between now and the end of October not November October in the name of Jesus receive strange help from God and for everyone here who is in need of restoration between now and the miracle service may God do something that has not been done in your life since the beginning of this year hallelujah but with the ability to transport words into his or her spirit in the name of Jesus baby I decree and declare that you will serve the Lord all the days of your life you are a proper child you are blessed I want you to do it husband lay your hands on your wife speak to her she's going out oh may God bless you don't just say honey God bless you and and then later you hear something you don't want to hear in the name of Jesus I stand as your husband and I declare I declare that your morning is commanded go in peace return with joy you go forth in peace you are led forth with joy little children are going to school in the name of Jesus I bless you go and do exploits you are a champion go and reign they will laugh you will think it's not getting into them by the time someone looks at them in school and say you are a fool they'll say daddy said I'm a champion yes sir yes sir you come to church for koinonia and several things are annoying you make up your mind the moment you are angry stop talking get an atmosphere put something in your ears in the name of Jesus you immediately you are transported into a realm of possibilities and what would have made you angry is just neutralized because remember when seasons are about to open in your life I've taught you one of the things is the spirit of offense everything your husband annoys you your wife annoys you your staff annoy you Nigeria annoys you Africa annoys you journalists annoy you everything even God seems to annoy you but you must make up your mind the climate I remember atmosphere is a law I just lost this business in the name of Jesus I refuse to be sad I refuse to walk in despair you set that atmosphere some of you my dear people all this worship that you are playing here don't just do it for koinonia alone I've taught you this one hour imagine if they do something like that won't you patronize them one hour of soaking worship volume one Are we together? I, I'm not saying this, this is not this is not some mark. I'm serious with what I'm saying. Program that atmosphere. Imagine that you just wake up from sleep and you are just stretching, and all you hear is Amen, 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 Amen. Amen, 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 Amen. Hey, Amen, 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 Amen. amen. for stretching and you move to the other side of the bed 
the dream continues in that dream you are scattering the gates of hell empowered by the strength of the word within you you get up with the keys like jesus got up from the keys as soon as you wake up from that dream who is this king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty battle into three if you can we are going to spend the remaining just three three if there's nobody there just make it two or whatever but please we are going to pray help them under the anointing we are going to pray just two three minutes you are going to begin to pray in the spirit find any hand you find there and begin to pray and make declarations over the person's hand you are holding in the name of Jesus I declare I come as a prophetic rainmaker come on koinonia following from your home hold the hands of your children if you can hold the hand of your wife your husband hold the hand of your neighbor whoever you find touch and agree by faith go ahead and begin to pray Psalms hymns spiritual songs declare it by the spirit Psalms hymns spiritual songs i command restoration in the name of jesus the deliverer is showing up for you koinonia pray koinonia global pray america pray europe pray Africa pray I am a prophetic rainmaker I program the spiritual climate of my brother and my sister no more losses no more failure in the name of Jesus superior wisdom superior favor higher levels of power higher levels of grace strange breakthroughs by the Spirit pray the anointing that is within me is finding expression in the name of Jesus man of God pray and declare it's a new season in ministry it's a new season of exploits and impact for Jesus by the Spirit the hand of God is upon me Therefore, I speak in Psalms. I speak in hymns. I speak in spiritual songs, making melody in my heart even unto God. No failure in the name of Jesus. My path is as a shining light, shining ever brighter even unto the perfect day the lord is my light and salvation in the name of jesus i rise by revelation the mighty hand of god is upon me when men say there is a casting down i declare by the spirit that there is a lifting up in the name of jesus the god of Jeshurun is arising for me by the power of the holy spirit i am blessed in the city blessed in the country Koinonia is blessed, revealing Jesus, bringing him glory across the nations of the earth. Don't be tired, declare. Pray over your prayer. 
brother I rebuke the plan of the devil over his life over her life in the name of Jesus perfect health perfect soundness you will not die before your time in the name of Jesus your relevance will not be cut short the spirit of the waster is far from you pray of nations the gates of territories are opening by the spirit in the name of Jesus the sick are healed oppressed delivered the confused find direction sinners come to Jesus pray for Nigeria declare over Nigeria Nigeria will not fall Nigeria will not be destroyed for the sake of the elect of God. No matter the schemings of darkness, the purposes of God over this nation, over Africa, and you who is watching by, uh, by television, pray for your nation. Mention the name of your nation. South Africa, Kenya, Ghana, Rwanda, Uganda, Central African Republic, Cameroon, declare by the Spirit, Cote d'Ivoire, Africa is engulfed with the fire of revival. Europe, America, Australia, Asia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. This is how kings reign. This is how kings rule. This is how kings rise. For by your words you are condemned. And by your words you are justified. Hallelujah. I'm going to speak over your life now. Then I'll do the altar call. And then we're done. This is already a pre-miracle service. Believe me, it's going to be fire next week in this place. This is, this is pre-miracle service. I want to speak over your life. No shadow you will light up. Mountain you will climb up, coming after me. No world you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. One more time. No shadow you will light up. No shadow you won't light up. Mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. You shall receive power after not before not during so the first thing you receive is not power it is a personality the Holy Ghost and then when his walkings prevails over your life the reward for that intimacy is power you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you the power does not make you a man of God the power does not make you a prophet. The power does not make you an apostle. The power does not make you a worshiper. The power makes you a witness. A witness is a validator of a claim. There is no need for a witness until there is a contention. In the court of law, when, you, when there is a contention over a claim, a witness is necessitated. And its assignment is to validate that which has been said. In this end time, God is looking for witnesses. More than men of God. More than apostles and prophets. Validators. Men and women who will bring the pride of nations to their knees. And reveal a dimension of the excellency of the kingdom. 
that dumbfounds principalities and powers. Like I said yesterday, it will come on the strength of our spiritual connection. In a few minutes, something is going to come upon your life. An impartation is a transference of spiritual possibilities. Our spiritual growth is based on relationship. But kingdom advance is based on covenant. That means that God finds a people and enters a personal covenant with them that becomes his access point to reveal that dimension on earth. And all through within the lifetime of those individuals, God will never manifest that possibility anywhere on earth in disalignment to those vessels understand what i'm teaching you when it comes to the matters of the spirit and the anointing i'm not teaching you an outsource information this is an office i know what i'm talking about one time I started having encounters with the saints of old. Now, understand that every time we teach these things, the Bible is the foundational pattern for our spiritual growth. When we share these supernatural experiences, it's not to create a passion in you higher than your love for scripture. Are we together now? These are only systems that support the things that scripture has said. I remember I started having encounters with many of those you call the generals. And they would come to me and share mysteries. And some of them would share with me where they failed in their own generation. I remember in one of these encounters, a middle height man came to me and after talking, the light that beamed from him, and when we were done talking, he turned and he was on his way going. And I looked at him and I said, you did not tell me your name, sir. And he looks at me and turns back and smiles. And he said, Paul. And he turned and walked away. I am a product of many anointings. I am a product of many encounters. Years ago... I started searching for those who carried the mantle of the generals because I felt that there was a burden upon my life for this generation and I wanted to become a system of preservation and continuity of the program of God and one of the people I met began to tell me a story you've heard me say it many times that before Smith Wigglesworth would die he called Lester Sumro and said do not die with this mantle when you are old find young men and transfer this grace upon them and when he laid hands on me he said you will become a continuity of these graces this is like a relay it has come from one person to the other the chiefest of all encounters was when the Lord Jesus himself now appeared to me. We're about to pray. Something will happen now when I begin to say what I'm saying. That's why I say be sensitive. Because God gave me a promise and there is a covenant I have with him. When the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to me, I was flat on the floor light in its brilliance came from him to me he did not speak with his mouth but he was talking to me I knew what he was saying then in one of the encounters help that gentleman please the Lord spoke to me and said son from today I give you my presence as a gift and then I saw this huge angel and the Lord said this angel will walk with you 
He's called the angel of the Lord's presence. And he will be responsible for the signs, the wonders, the miracles. Listen to me, dear men of God. The Lord gave me an instruction years ago. And he said, every nation, every city and every territory I send you to, among the many things you will do there, make sure the light that came from me to you, there must be someone in that meeting that the light that came from me to you will also come upon those people. Will you open up the gate? Open up the door. Open up the gate. Listen. After that encounter, I took my Bible and I started understanding things I never studied. There was a straight line from Genesis to Revelation. I would go to bed and angels would come to my room and open my Bible to specific scriptures. I don't share a lot of my encounters because I don't want people to create idolatry out of these things. Our assignment is to promote Jesus and to lift Him. Tonight is a miracle service. We are still going to pray for people. But please hear me. For someone here, in the next few minutes, something is about to come upon your life and your destiny that will so change you in a way and manner that will surprise you. Many of you will go back to your churches and you will marvel and wonder at the dimension of the spirit that you begin to walk in. This is not for personal or vain glory. This is to equip us so that we stop becoming noisemakers. We become people with evidence indeed. There is too much talking in the body of Christ. I say this respectfully. I didn't used to walk very strongly in the prophetic. Here and there I would give a word of knowledge. But I heard them criticizing a man of God called William Branham. Man of God always talked about that man and tore him and tore him as if he missed God and missed everything. And one night I was watching his video and I said, my God, look at the humility of this man. There are few men on earth that I know today, including myself, who come close to the humility of this man with respect to the kind of glory that he carried. And yet people are there tearing the man down. And suddenly something happened to me. Light, right from him in the laptop where I was watching. And something came upon me. And for a period of about 30 minutes, it was going down my body. I said, what is happening to me? And by the next meeting I went to, the heavens were open in a way and manner. I received a grace, not only a grace that reveals, a grace that creates. So that what has no business happening is made to happen. Please don't think what I'm saying is pride. I wish I'm not the one to... I hope you don't misunderstand me. I, I, I do not trivialize anybody's grace here. I'm only sharing with you something by the privilege of the election of grace. I have been... To almost every campground in this nation, I am a product of many anointings. 
I've had the privilege of and the honor of receiving graces from fathers, from mighty men and women of God, dead and alive. That anointing was invested upon me not for my sake, but for the sake of God's people. And every time we come for conferences like this, among the many things that happen, it's an opportunity to distribute graces that are either dormant or vacant within a land to the end that there be a greater establishment of the purposes of God not to show that a man of God is anointed but hear me there is a spiritual protocol to receiving the anointing you do not receive from a colleague you do not receive from a friend there is a non-negotiable law of spiritual transference you must discern not in the flesh in the spirit and Elisha said my father my father the chariots of Israel and the horsemen thereof I know that men of God sadly have idolized this issue of impartation you know and made a lot of nonsense and immaturity out of it but I tell you the truth if all you see is a man in the flesh you will not receive anything your spirit must be opened to receive something that will change your life we have five ten minutes to do this i'm going to pray on this oil as a point of contact please help that person there there are angels that signify dimensions there are angels that signify anointings there are angels that signify revelations revelations one verse one the revelation of Jesus Christ which he gave unto his servant John he sent it and signified it by his angel many of you will be drinking into ancient fountains dimensions you have seen in your dreams you have seen in your visions some of you you have seen it for many years and you've been asking Lord when will this come I open to you by the Spirit a portal of higher spiritual reality. Now arise, O Lord, come to your resting place, you and the ark of your might and then we will rejoice as we clothe in your righteousness we celebrate your love spirit of the living god i pray over this oil i only stand by the privilege of the election of grace and I pray over your precious people in this place. Lord, I pray that this oil will activate virgin dimensions in the spirit. I pray that ancient fountains will be opened over your people. And that everyone under the sound of my voice, upon whom this oil comes, let it be a strange impartation. Let the spirit of grace and the spirit of glory Let the unction for signs, for wonders, for miracles Territorial anointings Rest upon your people Now, please Please I want you to respect all the servants of God Don't come around them, just leave them where they are in the name of Jesus Christ um, they have the option whether or not they can touch the oil or not or they can receive the air. let's give them that honor as servants of God but wherever you are the oil will be there you will just come out to your row so guys you will just stand in front of the various rows from the front just come out touch and then go back come out touch and go back let there be a few ushers for those who will be under the anointing 
the ushers can receive the impartation last. Can they open this? You will never be the same. You've touched this grace. Your life is changed. You will never be the same. You've touched this grace. Your life is changed. In the name of Jesus Christ, we anoint these oils. Okay. Praise the Lord. Now, listen. Hold on, please. Um, Reverend has requested that it should be given um, a bowl. I would respectfully honor it. And so, please, some of these people, especially to serve the ministers, please. Allow a man of God, a father of faith. So please, the fathers can serve. Just please give, give one of any of the pastors. Thank you so much, sir. We honor your humility, sir. Thank you. Please make sure the, all the people holding this, if you are doing that, please withdraw it. Let a man of God... You, you, they don't need to come out. You can just walk around with it for them there, if it's possible. But in the name of Jesus, please come out now. Some of you, as soon as you touch that oil, please stand. Turn and face them. Okay. Go ahead. Please touch it and then turn back to your seat. In the name of Jesus, the power of the Holy Ghost is coming upon you. As you touch it, you return back. Begin to pray in the Spirit. Shebranda kaparuta shada New dimension. Never be the same. I've got you, Grace. I will never be the same. 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 I
Begin to pray in the spirit all over this place. Begin to pray in the spirit all over this place. Fire is falling on you. Someone begin to pray and prophesy over your life and your ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, speak over your ministry. I step into new dimensions of kingdom relevance. Great power for the journey ahead. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I prophesy by the mighty hand of God, signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. This man, come. Lift your hands. Take that grace in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands here. I'm seeing fire come on you. Take that grace now in the name of Jesus. Selabots kabarandas kabris katabareda sila parudias ebretise si abaratushi. Please pray, don't be distracted. My friend, lift your hands. Take that grace. This your friend. Prophesy over your ministry. My ministry can never be the same. In the name of Jesus. Salvation for His Majesty. The miracle ministry. No more stagnation. No more delay. In the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of revelation. The spirit of power upon my life. Numerical growth. Financial growth. Access to the power of God. your hands. I'm still going to speak in the night but this is a pastor's session. In the name of Jesus I want you to believe every word that is coming upon your life. For if you will believe you will be surprised at what happens to you. Every dead ministry or every dying ministry hear the word of the Lord. I speak to you. Talita Kumi. Arise in the name of Jesus. Fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh fire. Prayer fire. The grace to fast. The grace to study. Take that anointing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Listen. One of the tools that the devil is using in this end time to cripple ministries is lack of the availability of financial resources. There are many people who love God with all their hearts, but the devil keeps crippling the finances of well-meaning churches so that they will not have the wherewithal to preach. But I stand tonight in the name of Jesus and I prophesy to you as surely as the Lord God lives, I invoke upon your life the mystery of divine supplies. Strange supplies. I speak to the east. I speak to the west. I speak to the south and the north. Everywhere your supplies are in this season, I command it into your hands. Listen. There are many of us, you love the Lord, but there are things that are eating your life. They are making you not to be a man of solid character. You love God, but these things continue to destroy your ministry. Every altar that sponsors anything that is not of the Christ, destroying your reputation in ministry. Shakakakatos. I command those altars, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you. Members come to your church, they receive of the miracles, they receive of the word, and then they leave. They come, but the grace that keeps, the grace that stays people is not there. In the name of Jesus, I speak over your life. Receive the grace for retention. <laughs> Hallelujah. A man of God must be sound in doctrine. A man of God must be able to teach truth with clarity and balance. There's someone here you have been praying for the spirit of revelation. Sincerely because you love your people. I pray for you. Like fire from heaven. May that grace rest upon you now. Now. I thought I'll be able to do that prayer in the night, but the Lord is asking me to do it here. There is a grace for signs and wonders. Please hear me. Now, many people can claim they walk in miracles. Miracles are not stories. They are provable realities here and now. Sincerely, it may not be everybody who will take this grace, but from the depth of my spirit, I stand in agreement with the leaders, the men and the women of God, that grace that commands miracles, signs and wonders, Lord upon us, many ministers here, in the name of Jesus, take that fire now. Take that fire now. I activate the healing grace, the healing anointing like fire. Let it come upon your life. Hallelujah. Hold on, please. Listen to me. Please listen, we are wrapping up. I want to plead with you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Do all within your power to invite your loved ones for tonight's miracle service. I'm going to share with you something. And there is a grace that I'm going to pray for you for. We are not only going to celebrate miracles tonight, but I pray from the depth of my heart that there are activations of the gifts of the Spirit that will happen tonight. Very strange dimensions of the Spirit will come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray finally before I drop the mic. If you are in ministry here 
and no one has been able to discern your grace to place a demand on your grace and to honor that grace listen we are ministers of god but we are humans too your comfort is lies in the fact that men can see what god is doing in your life they can discern it and they can extend hands of fellowship and hands of reward are we together now you cannot indefinitely live under the atmosphere of discouragement let me pray for someone i don't know what has caged your ministry and refused you from rising to a point of kingdom notoriety for the sake of his majesty but in the name of jesus i open that door now don't go alone when you want to step into dimensions life will ask you what is the grace that is bringing you here otherwise you have no business here you want to sing like the great you want to prophesy like the great and so when god organizes this conference listen it's not just a time of teaching alone it's also a time of transference of graces now let me tell you something about the apostolic ministry follow this the hallmark of the, the apostles are not preachers apostles are spiritual administrators they coordinate spiritual activities within given territories according to the measure of grace given to them that means it is part of the apostolic and the prophetic office to supervise the health and the efficiency of the body of christ within a territory and they do that by enlightenment and then by introducing the graces they discern as cast within a territory so that the saints on the strength of that grace can rise to those dimensions so the first key to a true apostolic ministry is not teaching is discernment you can enter a city and spot on know the graces that are not available and the graces that need to be upgraded and that now becomes your assignment this is why the apostolic grace can become anything in any meeting based on the grace that needs to be supplied you can meet a man who is not a teacher but if that territory is looking for the teaching grace for that meeting he will change to become a teacher so that people can receive that grace are we blessed but that what comes upon you please find a way of believing this is what controls what is around you life does not just obey you there is a grace that when you possess it will cause men to come to you with their resources there is a grace that makes people loyal to you i'm a good person that's not enough there is a grace It's the same grace that made the lions quiet when daniel was there they didn't do it for everyone so we know we know the grace is not upon everybody once upon a time the apostles did not have this grace they still had the heart but the grace was not there and their results showed that that grace was not upon them and then a time came when peter received the bible says even his shadow was healing the sick there was a time in my life i prayed for the sick they were not healed many preachers will not admit this I prayed for people with HIV, cancer, barrenness. Nothing happened. I was a sincere preacher who loved the Lord. I had to come to a point in my life where I broke my pride and said, Do you know what? God, thank God for what God is doing in your life. But this grace is not there. And the thing with grace is, is that if it's not there, it's not there. Period. You can act like it is there. If it is there, it speaks instantly. I'm saying that because something is about to come on someone. So of your father, O oh Saul, you did not know that the grace for royalty and the prophetic will come upon you. But now that you encountered Samuel, when you honor men, you don't honor bodies. You honor the spiritual investment, the sacrifice of alignment that has made them custodians of those dimensions of spiritual reality. I wish I were lying. I would have just said I'm sorry. But this is true. Suffer it to be so. You've heard me say I'm a product of many anointings. Many anointings. And my assignment among other things is as God grants me grace to travel and 
strengthen the body of Christ and help the men and the women of God that God is using in every city. Among the many things is the ability to supply that grace. And I've been privileged by God to be given unique experiences. I don't talk too much about these experiences because I want the faith and the confidence of people to be built on the word. I have met the saints of old. I have met Jesus the Christ himself. We're about to pray. Jesus gave me an instruction that I will never disobey for as long as I live. When I encountered him, there was a light that came from him to me. And he told me, it, to every city and nation you travel to, there must be someone in that meeting. That that light that came from you to him must also come upon that person. My friend, look at me. There is an anointing coming on you, this guy. Take that grace in the name of Jesus Christ. So I know that my time is up, but this is our final service. And you are going to pray and cry your heart. Some of you is for your ministry. The, you've been praying and fasting and say, Lord, take us to a new level. Time does not change anything. Time only reveals. It is what is upon you that defines what is around you. There is a grace for influence. Influence does not come with age. Influence does not necessarily come even with your educational prowess. There is a grace that compels people and territories to listen to you. It is true. There is a kingmaker anointing. People don't just become kings. There is a grace that enthrones. When that grace is upon you, no matter where you are, even in the cave of Adulam, it will not stop till you sit on the throne. That is the grace politicians need. That is the grace that people of influence need. Not just for self-aggrandizement, it's for the purposes of the kingdom. And so what is going to be happening here in a few minutes is a distribution of these spiritual possibilities that you take to yourself and your destiny a portion of spiritual reality that you did not come with as at the beginning of this conference. There is a grace that causes the book of remembrance to be opened. People don't just remember you because you are on earth. No. The Bible says, and that night, then the king could not sleep. And he said, bring me the chronicles. There were many people who had done good, but he said, what shall be done to this man? Listen. In Esther chapter 2, a village girl, pastor, called Hadassah, is attempting to contend for the position of queen. And while other ladies were learning how to walk, how to dress, one who was the keeper of the king's virgins called Hagar called her. He said, let me tell you a secret. There is an oil. Rub it on yourself for one year. I know the king. I know what he wants. Don't mind these things they are doing. There is an oil. Some aloes. Keep rubbing on yourself. And then Esther chapter 2 and verse 17. The Bible says when Esther stood before Ahasuerus. It says the king loved Esther above that means he was considering others before she came. But as soon as Esther shows up with that oil, she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins. So he set the royal crown of her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. Listen to me. Stop praying about your request. Obtain the grace that makes that prayer a testimony. Otherwise it will remain a prayer point. You want to build. I agree. It takes more than money. I tell you the truth. It takes more than money. There is a grace that builds. There is a grace for territory. He dug a well. And the Philistines covered it. He dug another well. They covered it. He dug the third one and they left him. And he called it Rehoboth. He said, God has given me my own space. Oh, I'm tired of being a tenant. There is a grace. It's not just by saying, let me save and get money. There's a place for that. But first things first. There is a grace that when you carry that grace, your portion within a territory must be given to you. Do you believe what I'm sharing with you? He 
is true. So we are about to pray. Because God wants to insist that if you call it activating the supernatural, then your life, you are supernatural when there are gaps in the explanation of your results. Your result cannot be all scientific. Oh, I know it is one plus one equals to three. No, there has to be an equation in your life that only God can explain. And if it is the Lord's doing, then it must be marvelous. If it's man, you don't clap for me for walking. Walking is human. But when I fly, another agency is now supporting me. Please hear me. Some of your families are at the mercy of what you are about to receive. Some of our ministries are at the mercy of what we are about to receive. This is not human worship. Not at all. We are only stewards of this mystery. By the privilege of the election of grace. We have been made stewards, communicators of these dimensions. And that if you can discern, Elijah told Elisha, if you can discern, he says, my father, my father, the chariots of Israel and the horsemen thereof. I've had the privilege to meet a few people who have had contacts with God's generals as we call them. I'm a student of revival. I've had the opportunity to meet a lot of people. I've had the opportunity, like a bee, carrying many anointings, even some that I don't need in my own life, but for the sake of destinies. House on the Rock, if you will believe. A time came in my life when the Lord told me, after a series of experiences, he said, from today you have entered the overflow anointing. Ah, I don't know who this man is, but I'm seeing the angel of the Lord pour oil on him. The Lord is shifting you to a new dimension in the spirit. I don't know who you are, but this man will become a wonder in this territory. This man... The hand of the Lord is upon him. And the Lord is rolling away everything that looks like the limitation of yesterday. Didn't you sing it? We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Hallelujah. Please rise up on your feet. Just pray in the Spirit in one minute. Father, this is a moment of destiny. It's a time for my heart to receive. Just a few minutes and we're done. Shabalakato sabrakatagabalato Pray outside, pray that in the name of Jesus I draw strength from the realm of the spirit, I tap into the economy of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The anointing of the Spirit is upon this woman. That's your wife. There is a dimension of the prophetic that the Lord is shifting this woman into. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hand. Step into that dimension. Husband, you two come. There is a dimension of grace. Both you and your wife, two of you, are stepping into that grace. I don't know you, but you will never be the same. Take that grace now. Fresh fire upon your life. You will never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Father, the grace for my destiny, the next level of my life, release it upon me. Lift the voice and begin to pray. Someone is praying. 
outside pray there is no distance there is no barrier in the spirit sir please this man and his wife come i knew the lord was going to anoint you both but i was just waiting for his timing while we were talking there please lift your hands you and your wife it's time for you to step into a new season in ministry father in the name of jesus take that grace now both of you i release that grace upon you you will never be the same in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus you will never be the same now please hear me i want to pray and i want to release the grace for speed please hear me as i pray this grace the hand of God is going to come up so many people here. Please, whether you are an usher or not, help them. Bring a few of them that you can bring out. They will begin to run physically as though it's by the Spirit. Right now, at the count of three, I declare, Father, over the city of Port Harcourt, over house on the rock, I declare at the count of three, the grace for speed. One, Two, take that grace. Take that grace. I shift you by the Spirit. No more delay. No more delay. No more delay. No more delay. I cut delay from your destiny. Here at House on the Rock, at the Red Conference, Karabo Shalakata, Ebreketeketekerekosiata. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Jezreel. You will never be the same. You've touched his grace. Your life must change. You will never be the same. You've touched his grace. Your life must change. I'm seeing the number 31 The healing anointing A strong anointing For the healing ministry Some of you have prayed You have fasted At the count of three Oh God like a mighty wind May that ministry be activated over this land Take that grace right now Take that grace right now the power to heal the sick the power to deliver the oppressed in the name of jesus christ just a few minutes and we're done for this service my god this song that's what I hear in my spirit there is a grace for restoration where people can receive back time i want to release that grace upon you right now father in the name of jesus the son of the living god that the years that the canker worm has eaten at the count of three i declare that that grace falls upon your life one two three take that grace take that grace take that grace restoration of time restoration of things in the name of jesus christ 
I'm going to pray for the sick shortly. Who is Juliet? Juliet. I'm hearing a name, Juliet. Who is that? Juliet. Please come quickly, just two, three minutes. Juliet. No. The Juliet I'm seeing is wearing a maroon dress. Like maroon. You are wearing something, I think maroon or ox blood, something like that. Is there someone like that? What's your name, madam? Juliet, I want to pray for you. You will never forget this conference for the rest of your life. Rebecca. I'm hearing the name Rebecca. 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 This is what I'm hearing in my spirit. Rebecca. Madam, I want to pray for you. This is your daughter. You are Julia too. I will pray for you. A member of this church. I want to pray for you. Madam, don't worry. Let me talk to you. Please give her the mic. No, no, don't. don't. It doesn't mean you hold it. This lady, the Lord is opening my eyes. What's your name? Huh? Please don't come out at random, please. Please. Juliet. What's the name of your daughter? Her name is Jack. Ah, I have to pray. Because what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing someone inside a coffin already. And they are saying it's cancer that killed her. What does she have? Huh? Oh dear, our mic is not working. Please help us. Praise the Lord. We have to pray. She has cancer. This is what I'm telling you that I'm, that I'm saying. But the Lord himself is about to step in. You believe that? Please stand up, madam. There is a name that is above every other name. And we are going to pray. What's her name? Chiamaka. Chiamaka. Rosaline. Hi. Rosaline. Rosaline. You are in the choir. Hey. Rosaline. Hey. Who is that? Is there someone like that? Rosaline. Is she in the choir? Hollow walk will turn the light. That's my prophecy for you. Hollow walk for My dear, look at me. The month of January, February is a strange month of lifting for your family. Here at House on the Rock, you will never forget this conference for the rest of your life. In the name of Jesus. Ma, let us pray. Stretch your hands towards this woman and let us greet. Hold my hands, madam. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the mercy of God speak for you. Speak for your baby in the name of Jesus Christ. And for you, madam, I pray that the Lord Himself will perfect your health. Let your blood be cleansed in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone here has, please don't be embarrassed, you don't have to come out. Someone here has the issue of blood, whether it's your circle or not. Go out now and check, it has stopped right now. Go out right now and check. This is whether it's your monthly circle or not, very painful, you've had an issue. Go, please use the restroom now and check. We have just five, ten minutes and then we're done. Juliet, I want to pray for you. First bank, you walk in first bank. This is, I'm saying that you walk in first bank. I have to pray for that person. You walk in first bank here in this city. Sir, I want to pray for you. There is a grace for wealth that God wants to put upon your life. This is not just about the bank. This is God increasing you. Because I'm seeing that soon you will not even be there again. I'm seeing you doing oil and gas. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God, I pray that God will show you mercy and grant you access to this grace for the sake of his kingdom. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wow. I just saw a wind. There are many prophetic worshippers. It's a grace for prophetic worship. At the count of three, that grace is going to be resting on people. And I'm glad Minister Dunsin is in this place. In the name of Jesus, I pray. I don't know where they are, but I just saw that wind and I hear prophetic worship. There is a grace that is coming upon you. Father, I pray there are men and women who must sing songs. Songs of the Spirit. At the count of three, may that anointing take that grace. One, two, three. Take that grace right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. A dimension of prophetic worship. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord take you to higher levels and dimensions in the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. I can't remember why I called you out. In the name of Jesus Christ. One, two, three, four, five ladies in that family. Experiences. There are men who have paid their price with God and have been able to access power to be a blessing to the church. So make no mistake of thinking that this is some funny demonic thing. No, 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 not at all. In the name of Jesus Christ, laughter is symbolic of victory in the spirit why god does the things that he does this is not just some superstitious things i prophesy to you and to your families that that which brings shame and gloominess by the spirit of grace may it live your life forever leave your family forever and i also prophesy to someone here who is tapping into this testimony the seasons of crying over your loved ones and over your life i bring them to an end now in the name of jesus christ are you seeing that the laughter is over it was not about superstition god bless you Lay your hands. I want to pray for the sick now. Can you lend me five more minutes, Pastor? I just sense that God is doing something in this place. Oge Chuku. Is it Oge or Oge Chuku? Oge Chuku. My God. Come. This man's life is about to change. The Lord is telling me that He will use you as an example of what service can do to a man. Okay, is this not the young man that escorts us or something? You are the one driving. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that He's going to use your life as a testimony of what service can do. Let me tell you this fear people who serve you. They are climbing mysterious ladders in the spirit. My friend, I stand in the open room, not in, in, in private, and I prophesy to you in the presence of your pastor and the servants of God here, according to the time of life, I speak three months, one, two, three, over your life, may you shift to a dimension of grace, a dimension of wealth, a dimension of power, even by the Spirit of the living God. And I pray that that which brings shame and reproach to your life, it will live like smoke before the wind. In the name of Jesus Christ. May God bless you, sir. It pays to serve. It truly pays to serve. Let me pray for the sick right now. You are trusting God for a miracle. Lay your hands right now. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, please make contact with your chest. Let's rebuke infirmity. Something is happening here. The healing anointing is about to flow. God is a healer. He's a restorer. Now listen please. Pastor has given me the privilege of five minutes. This is what will happen. I will rebuke infirmity in here, out, everywhere. Now very quickly, just so that we can bring glory and honor to the with me house on the rock in the name of jesus in the name of jesus shout a loud amen in the name of jesus now 
two people are going to shout under the anointing loud to the hearing of everyone when that happens the healing power of jesus will begin to flow in this place i honestly don't know why god does this sometimes two people now we're ready to pray for the sick i rebuke every spirit of infirmity in the name of jesus shout a believing amen i rebuke I rebuke every devil of infirmity from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet my God such an anointing I declare be healed now help them please be healed now be healed now every blood condition be healed now your genotype that you desire changed we change it now. I command migraine headaches. The Lord is healing migraine. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing the Lord heal high blood pressure. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Be gone in the name of Jesus. I mentioned the issue of blood and I'm seeing do it again. In the name of Jesus. I command that irregular cycle to stop now every malignant growth around your abdominal region i cause it let it go now anyone who cannot use your ears properly i declare your ears open now every blind eye be open now in the name of jesus christ every bone condition here hear the word of the lord i declare be straightened be made whole now Someone is being healed from peptic ulcer. In the name of Jesus, peptic ulcer. I'm seeing at least four ladies lump in your breast. I cause it now. Weakness, weakness in the body. You can't stand for long. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. There's someone you have a problem with your throat your neck or your throat i don't know what that problem is the power of god is touching you now be healed in the name of jesus severe pain around your abdominal region be healed in the name of jesus you find out that whether it's cold or hot your body is consistently hot in the name of jesus i come against it now whether i mention your case or not here at activate 2020 be healed in the name of Jesus. 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 In two minutes, very quickly, we're out of time. I'd like you to check yourself. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Welcome back to this platform, Reflector of TV, with God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selma. We believe that uh, this message you just watched right now from God's servant has been a blessing to you. You see, the Bible said that if anyone is afflicted, it says, let him pray. Let him pray. The Bible did not say, let him complain. The Bible didn't say, let him make excuses. The Bible didn't say, let him make claims. The Bible didn't say, let him brag. Right? The Bible said, let him pray. If anyone is afflicted, let him pray. And not just sit back and hoping and say, hmm, uh, I think I am afflicted. Uh, God, come on. No, no, no. The Bible didn't say you should think about it. The Bible said, let him pray. Don't just sit back and think about it. No, pray. Don't just sit back and begin to scratch your head and think, how will the blessing come? No, pray. Don't just sit back and begin to hope and say, God, I know you say you bless me, whatever. No, pray. That's what scripture said. Pray. Anyone that is afflicted, let him pray. Don't scratch your head thinking. The devil did not, did not scratch his head why he, why, why he was, why he was uh, um, killing you there. He didn't scratch his head why, why, why he was afflicting you. He didn't scratch his head and thinking how to afflict you. No. The Bible says, anyone that is afflicted, let him pray. Let him not stand and start thinking, no. Your spiritual enlightenment should have taught you by now that prayer is our, is our anchor. When it comes to battle, he said we reach not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and power and spiritual wickedness of high places. 
We wrestle every day. So, Apostle Paul said, we die daily. When you do these things, you begin to command that affliction to turn around for your good. Alright? Even if the situation is bad, even if what you are going through right now is, is, is you are in a deep damn situation, let him pray. Let him pray. Let him not ponder. Let him not just sit down and, and think how, how to, 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 to become a blessing. Don't just think about the five principles of, of success. No! Let him pray. Prayer is our anchor. If Jesus could pray, how much more are we? If Jesus could fast, how much more are we? Our anchor is prayer. And that's the reason why we put out these things right there for you, our viewers on this platform, Reflect Up TV, through God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman, that we pray together, that we do the fasting together, we do all these together, and we begin to see results yield forth in our lives. I remember the God's generals of old, these men conquered nations through prayer. They conquered territories through prayer. If these men could do these things through prayer and they had results, riches, wealth, whatever it is, name it, they had all of them. Family, they had all of them. Through prayer and they stayed with God until their life became a beauty to the nations. Your life too can also become a beauty, beauty to, to the nations. Only if you pray and not murmur. Only if you pray and not complain. Only if you pray and not ponder. Only if you pray and not just sit back and thinking about it. No, only if you pray. And as you do this thing with us on this platform, Reflect Up TV, and as you continue doing with us daily, every day by day, the Lord will keep increasing our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for staying tuned with us, with God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman, and with us on this platform, Reflect Up TV. The Lord bless you so much, the Lord increase you in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are a new viewer on this platform, we would like you to please, please subscribe to this channel, alright? Like this video so that um, you can also reach out to others on this platform uh, on youtube on facebook whatever platform this is uh, and also share this video to your loved ones to your to your friends your family let them also be a partaker of these things let them also be a, let them also be a stakeholder of what god is doing through this platform and also tell us your testimony in the comment section below let us know what god is doing in your life it will help us to, to also keep um, I'm, I'm giving you content that will bless your life and also keep praying for you too as well. The Lord bless you so much. We love you guys so much. And would hope to see you in our next video. God bless you.